Hello? Oh, hello, yeah. Am I through to Norfolk and Suffolk Islamic Mission? Yeah. Oh, oh, great, thank you. Um, I was given a copy of the Quran. I've been reading it, the Halali and Khan translation. Um, finding it a little difficult to understand. I was wondering if it's possible somebody could help me with questions on Islam. The best place, because I'm not the Imam, I'm just helping uh, on the masjid. But the best place uh, you can have uh, a sun masjid, Norwich. Uh, they will explain and uh, they got a scholars uh, there and they can tell you what's all about. Hello? Hello, yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. I mean, my first question is, why are you a Muslim? If I could just... If you could help with that, I'd like to know, you know, why are you a Muslim? Why am I Muslim? I'm born Muslim. Right. So you're saying that it's got nothing to do with truth or God, it's just your culture that you're born into. It's something you're given at birth. Um, but I mean, I'm born with a Muslim family. We're all born with no religion. Then why do you call it reversion? I thought Muslims believed that everyone was born a Muslim and society corrupts you and then at some time in your life later on you revert back to Islam. But I thought uh, Islam taught that everyone was originally born as a baby as a Muslim. Isn't that right? Yeah. It is. Oh. Uh, I'm not the scholar, brother. Well, I'm asking you uh, about your own no, personal no, war. No, why are you a Muslim? No, no. Uh, no, but the, the, the question you're looking for the answer, uh, you have to speak there to some scholars. They can give you the answer. So the scholar will be able to tell me why you are a Muslim? Yeah, uh, he will. And uh, that place is the Norwich, Islam Masjid. Yeah. That's shocking. I mean, that's that appears to be brainwashing. If I want to know why you personally are a Muslim, I have to go to an Islamic scholar who, what, controls you like a puppet on strings? Oh, you can come to the masjid. I can't are afford the train a, fare. Are you, are you in this area, Great Yamad? No. All right. Where, which area are you are? Plymouth. Plymouth? Yes. Yeah. Then uh, you can ring some other masjid. I have done that. I have done that. Everyone passes you on to somebody else. Everyone passes you on to some is Islamic expert. When I phone them up, the so-called Islamic expert passes me on to somebody else. It's constant musical oh, yeah. chairs in Islam. Everyone, no one can answer a question. Everyone passes you on to somebody else. Yeah, that's it. Sorry, I'm busy. You're busy, but yeah. you're, you're a mission. You're the Norfolk and Suffolk Islamic mission. Don't you have any time to practice Islamic mission? Yeah, you can come 10 o'clock tonight. 10 o'clock tonight. That's in one hour and one minute's time. How can I travel 270, 280 miles in one hour? You can ring that time. We've been in the masjid and somebody can give you an answer. Why don't you take my telephone number and they can call me back? Because I'm sure if I call, I'll just be passed on to somebody else or told to call back later. That's what usually happens. Yeah. Uh, I will save you the number. Yeah, my name is Robert. Thank you. Okay. Okay, well, thank you very much. Someone uh, will get back to me, will they? Uh, I'll try. You'll if try. Somebody, yeah, if somebody there and they can give you a ring. Yes, if not today, then tomorrow or yeah. some other time. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.